So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And today guys, I bring you what in my opinion has got to be the best weapon you can get early on in this game. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments section disagreeing with me, which is completely fine. This is all a matter of opinion. But for me, this has made things so much easier. It is unreal and I recommend it to anybody who's even having any kind of difficulty in taking out bosses because this thing just absolutely slaps how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so the bloodhounds fang this is a weapon you get from the bloodhound knight uh Dary will which i'll showcase the location to him in a second this guy is a bit of a pain in the ass to kill, but nothing too difficult. I mean, I beat him quite early on, so you shouldn't really have a problem with him. If you're at like a level 20 to 30, you should be completely fine. But he drops this Bloodhounds Fang. Now, before I actually unlock this weapon, guys, I was, well, I weren't struggling with certain enemies or bosses in the game, but it just made things so much easier. It's unreal. Now forget the fact it causes blood loss buildup, which is a great attribute on a, any weapon. What's absolutely incredible about this and makes bosses way, way easier is its left trigger ability. It's kind of like a swipe then jump back. Now don't underestimate this guys in a game like this because for the simple fact it's all about dodging, docking, weaving, blocking this and the other. This basically does it all in one movement. And I mean, I was farming, well, trying to farm, a, I was trying to fight a boss yesterday. I wish I was farming him, I ain't that good yet. But I just couldn't kill him. I had my uh, Kitana leveled up to like a plus four, plus five, and I couldn't kill him. I was summoning all kinds of things. I couldn't kill him. Now, I had this weapon from quite a while back, and I just thought, no, I'm just going to try this. I'm just going to try it. I, first try, guys. I beat him first try with this thing. And I've been using it ever since, I've leveled it up since then and it's just making things so much easier and like I said it's all about that left trigger ability where you do like a swipe forward and jump backwards. What this is basically doing for you is it's adding a dodge automatically in after a powerful attack. Now it will use focus points, a small amount of focus points to do this but still guys it is so underrated. I ain't seen no one talk about this, not really. And it's a lifesaver. I mean, it ain't just on bosses either when it's farming enemies, you're trying to kill an enemy. I mean, it just makes work and things so much easier. It, I mean, I can't stress it enough. Like I said, I ain't amazing at this game. I don't claim to be amazing at this game. I know there's people out there that are watching, it's going to be like, yeah, there's way better weapons later on in the game, which I understand. Of course, there's going to be better weapons later on in the game, which do all kinds of magic sorcery shit, which I can't wait to get my hands on. But within the early stages guys i'm a level 50 i still in my opinion i haven't used i've got plenty of weapons i've got tons of weapons i mean i've got i've been farming that's all i've been doing i've been running around looking for them and picking them up and gathering them this is the best i've used so far this is the best i've used so far for more or less every instance that i've, I've come across i mean i've tried many different things but this is just it's just way, way better. I mean, it's kind of slower than my katana, but it's much more powerful. And like I said, that, that left trigger attack is where it's at. It's so underrated. It just makes work on many bosses just so much easier. The way you can just hit them with a powerful attack and jump back in one action so they don't get you. They don't react quick enough. They don't counter you. Guys, it's just a must. It's just a must. And once you get the hang of it, once you get that timing down perfectly, there's not many enemies in the game. Obviously, the bigger guys, the more tanky guys that have that range attacks, are obviously going to cause you a bit of trouble. But those melee bosses, I mean, like I said, you can swing, hit them, jump back, do a roll after that, and they can't hit you. It's just so underrated. It's, so, yeah, I just definitely suggest you getting it. So, the guy you need to fight to do this is located right here the forlorn hound ever gold does that say now this is actually like a teleport you come to this spot on the map and it actually looks like teleports you to a boss fight and this is the guy you need to kill and i suggest you guys 
not leaving until you get him. So you can see the area, the surrounding um, graces here. It's actually not too far down, well, southeast from where you actually start. So you can get this more or less straight away. Now, I'm not sure you'll be able to kill this boss straight away. I mean, if you've got a, got a bit of skill, I'm sure you will be able to. But I'd probably hold off until you're probably around a level 20. I reckon with your right stats and right build and that, you'll be able to get him easily. But yeah, guys, I just suggest you coming down and getting this, this weapon because it's, like I said, by far the best I have used in quite a while. Now, the boss I slayed with it, which I just couldn't kill my katana. He's a boss I uh, was struggling on after I'd already beat and humiliated Godric the, the Grafted. But this boss was just absolutely just tanking me and destroying me. As soon as I got this weapon, guys, he had no answer. He had no answer. And that boss's name was the Royal Knight Loretta, who, if you fought him, you'll know he isn't too easy. But like I said, this this weapon just made things so much easier, guys. Just to swiping him, jumping back, swiping in, jumping back. Absolutely amazing, it really is. So guys, I suggest you get this weapon. You will not regret it. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed leaving a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people... I will see you on that next one.